Oh, hello. I'm Ron Charles. You may know me as the kingpin of the book world. This week's novel takes us into the brutal arena of the most testosterone-fueled sport in America. A contest that few men have the balls for. I'm talking, of course, about bowling. The book is called Bowl Away by the beloved author Elizabeth McCracken. The story begins at night in a small town outside of Boston. A strange woman named Bertha is found unconscious in a cemetery. All she has with her is a bowling ball and 12 pounds of gold, but she's good to go. Just two months after Bertha's mysterious arrival, she's already built a six-lane bowling alley and captured the town's imagination. Strike one! Wait, wait, that's baseball. What are you talking about? Since you haven't actually played any sports, maybe you should stay away from sports puns. But it's right up my alley. Strike three. In the decades after Bertha arrives, Bolaway follows the unlikely paths of all the people drawn to her and her bowling alley. And even after she's gone, a super creepy, almost life-size Bertha doll hangs around like a bowling alley version of Madame Tussaud. Throughout the novel, Elizabeth McCracken wobbles like a pin that might fall toward comedy or tragedy. Because if this is a hilariously weird place, it's also an absurdly dangerous place. One grieving character spontaneously combusts. Another is crippled by a bowling ball. Oh, my <laughs> And another character we come to love is drowned in molasses, which is sad but sweet. <laughs> Even the survivors in this story worry that their lives have rolled into the gutter. Such is the endlessly surprising course of life in this novel with compassion to spare. For the Totally Hip Video Book Review, I'm Ron Charles, hoping all your books are strikes.